So yeah, we're gonna make this work. But Murder BX said, what's good, homegrown kicks, man? Kari and chat, man. What's good? Murder man, glad to see you. It's been a long time, man. Don't don't be a stranger. Don't, don't, don't go three and four and five weeks without rolling through, man. Hey, I need you here. The family needs you here, man. Yayo said, Kari, yo, my DMV brother. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> so like i said i want to get the grievances out of the way because i don't want the bad to overtake the good one of my grievances is i'm a manier. terrible customer service I'm going through a back and forth battle. Back at it again. Damn Daniel. Who remember that? Hey, if <laughs> who remembers the damn Daniel, man? Damn Daniel. Back at it again with the bands. Nasty. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm on one year is back at it with their shitty customer service. I mean, there's nothing I can basically I'm pigeon held. Um but hopefully, because I did it, I, I did my purchase through a firm to try to like build credit. If y'all don't know, uh, a firm reports all of your uh, your your on time payments or your uh, late payments to the credit bureau, but they only do it after the fact. So it's it's not as great as it could be, but hey, it still helps your credit. I know a lot of people make fun of it and be like, ha, 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 you, you're you doing uh, four payments because you can't afford it. No, nah, that ain't true. I can afford the four payments at one time, but I'd rather build my credit because credit, if you didn't know, is more important than cash. So the more you know, the better you are in the long run. So I'm all about building my credit. You know, we're adults now. We got to do adult things and we got to get with the times. If you're still more worried about cash than you are credit, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man. You you gonna be you gonna be hurting in the long haul. But um, I did the payment through a firm, um, and hopefully they're gonna have my back like PayPal would. So they're doing an investigation right now, and hopefully by the end of this investigation, I'll be able to get my money back. Which reminds me, I need to check my email because like a firm only gives you two days to respond before they close it <laughs> which is kind of crazy but we're gonna get to that now my other grievance go coincides with um neil kenman and tyrone neil said anyone get a w on the jackie robinsons and then tyrone said hd hg did you hit on those military blue fours Okay, so I guess I got more than one or two grievances. So, Neil. Oh, my, get, 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 get. No, I can't I, I can't even I can't even uh stifle my boy like that, man. What's up, man? Shout out to all 2000 in the chat on the behind the scenes. Hold on, let me let me adjust this. Let me adjust this so y'all can see the see the sauce and um I appreciate y'all for hitting the like button. Oh, to all my family here as well, please hit that like button. Share these lives so that everybody knows what a great community we have, what positive things we're doing. And I appreciate y'all, man. From the from the bottom of my most humblest heart, I appreciate y'all. But um, the Jackie Robinsons dropped on the 15th, which was Monday. I had so much going on. I ain't going to get into all of that, but I had so much freaking going on. I forgot about the Jackie Robinsons. I, I'm, and it hurts. It hurts my soul, my S-O-U-L and my S-O-L-E. It hurts my souls to say that I forgot about them because y'all know I made a big fuss about the Jackie Robinsons for three or four months. Like, I talked about the Jackie Robinsons, it almost feels like last year. And 
I'm like, the Jackie Robinsons, in my opinion, are better than the uh, the Jackie Robinson dunks. And here it is. I forgot. So y'all know it had to be terrible, crazy, catastrophic, all the above for me to forget about the Jackie Robinson dunks. Like, I forgot about the date. I forgot about the release, everything. And by the time I remembered... And this is this is the kick in the pants. By the time I remembered, it was four or five o'clock in the afternoon. So, like Drake, by the if you if you're just now seeing it, it's too late. And shout out shout out to Drake for being on his uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World stuff, man. Like, and and. Dudes coming out the woodworks that haven't done songs or albums in years. For 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 all of those for all of those rappers, I'm saying it here and I'm saying it here. For all of y'all rappers that decided y'all want to be mad at Drake now because of Metro Booming, and y'all haven't done music in the last two years to, uh, you know, run with that. Sit down, be a family man, take care of your families. Don't. Don't enter into a beef that like it, you could easily be clowned by a singing dude, as they used to say back, you know, when he first started the rap beef. But um, yeah, it was too late, and I mean, I almost had a mental meltdown, but then I was just like, nah, there's no, there's no point, man. There's, there's no point in having a mental meltdown. Just take a breath, let it go. Um, I went to StockX to see what the price was. Not StockX, but GOAT. I, I went to GOAT to see what the price was. And it's in the $300 price range. It's not terrible, but $300 in this day and age, in this climate for a 100 and, what was it, 150 retail? I think like 135 yeah, for a hundred and fifty dollars shoe in this climate where everything is dropping below um, retail or just barely above retail, nah, I, I'm I'm good on that. I, I'm I'm not participating in that. Like I said, I got other things going on. Um, I have other endeavors and things like that that I feel are more important, and uh, I'm 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 just good on that. So. Um, as much as I love the Jackie Robinson dunk, I mean, uh, Jackie, no, look at me. As much as I love the uh, Jackie Robinson Air Max 186s, um, it's it's just going to be a solid pass for me for now. Unless it comes down. Like, I'm willing to go for them in, like, the 200 range. I'm willing to pay an extra 50 bucks over retail. You know, maybe 50, 60 bucks because, you know, you got to pay taxes depending on where you're from. So I'm willing to do that, but anything above that, I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. It's not gonna hurt me. There are other shoes that are gonna come out. I passed on those um those sale Jordan fives. I'm cool with that. I passed on the olive fives. I passed on the uh all of the ogre stuff. Um, I passed on the lucky green fives, and I love those. I might even double back for those. I passed on the the women's fours with the hit of gold on there. So I mean, it, it looked like a passing year. <laughs> now, oh, right. Right. Right, right. Man, Nitro said that that's a lot of words and plans on that board in the background. So you all can barely see it, but they can definitely see it. Yes, it is a lot of uh it's a lot of plans and things going on on that on that uh dry eraser blackboard. Um some goals, 
some uh, adulting as far as like bills you know that board helped me get the get my bills down like power and water and stuff like that it helped me realize w what i was being wasteful for so um blackboard eraser blackboards is always good that's almost like a, a dream board or a goal board and i need to add to it but shout out to nitro for noticing man yeah um but yeah oh the vivid sulfur fours i passed on those um now like the vivid sulfur fours those are not bad i saw them in the store like the materials are good there's a good materials on that Vivid Sulfur 4, but was it a must? Nah, it's not a must. Um, is it a terrible shoe? Nah, it's not a terrible shoe. It's a clean shoe, but it was just a shoe I could pass on easily, 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 easily. So, um, yeah, like you mentioned, man, out of all those shoes I mentioned, and it sounds, I like a good majority of them, but as far as, Woo! Hey, that 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 was the bell. I'm about to hit on something. I'm about to hit on something. Um, but as far as when you stack them up to what we might be used to in terms of previous years or what we might be expecting, uh, it, they they're lackluster. And those are shoes that you'll definitely be able to reach back for at any point in time and get them below retail if not at retail so i mean no 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 sweat off my back and if you can't get some of those for retail hey it's an easy passable shoot um speaking of i was looking at I, I got some notifications about some releases on x and i was looking at some of those and um looking at like the the apps like finish line jd sports Foot Locker, and stuff like that some of those shoes are still at retail price. Um, what? Like the uh, Green Glow 3s? Like, why, why? What? What? Those should have immediately went on sale when they dropped. Um, what else? There was another one that I that released that I mean I quickly forgot about, but they're still at retail. I I, I don't know what the hell they think they're doing, but it, it ain't the right thing. Well, speaking of easy money kicks, this guy that we about to bring up ain't got to worry about no easy money kicks because he ain't really worried about that. But ain't nothing wrong with that because it's all about buying what you like and being different because if everybody was the same, it would be boring. And this guy is definitely not the same and definitely not boring. I want to welcome to the live, to the family, the one the only your average sneaker guy and the average don't stand for average i had to make sure i got that right aka sneaker nonsense aka the mid god aka i don't understand how i got that name because i only got a few pairs but give him a round of applause man y'all give him a round of applause man <laughs> And I gotta, I gotta get me a soundboard. So when I hit that soundboard, everybody can get their round of applause. Man. Uh -huh. Use my G look. I thought about selling all mine. <laughs> well, let me know, man. You, hey, you know. Right. Well, man, we got we got to talk about that, man, because you, you don't don't just get rid of your equipment just yet, because you've been getting back into you slowly been getting back into the groove of content, and I can tell by the smile on your face, it ain't the same as it was before. That you kind of slowly can can we say that you kind of slowly easing back into the groove of enjoying it? Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. 
But you're definitely you're definitely glowing, brother. You're definitely looking happy, man. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll go with that. But yeah, they got some shoes on there that that that, that it is mind boggling that it's still at retail. And then I guess for my third and final grievance of the night, unless something crazy pops up, is the shock drop. Okay, so um, the military blue fours shock drop, or the, or the industrial blue fours, whichever one you want to call them, they shock dropped last week. And I, brought, I took both of my phones to work. I only carry one of my phones to work and I leave my other phone at the house. But this time I took both the phones to work because I got two separate accounts in order to participate. And neither one of them, I got, I, neither one of them I hit. I see everybody else hitting. And if y'all don't know, I posted a, uh, a little short on my Instagram, on my uh, Facebook, on my TikTok, where it was like, when you see everybody get them get them dubs after you done took a sneaker L. And uh, Drake expressed my sentiments exactly. I mean, there ain't no hater. But I mean, I can still feel a little left out. I can still feel a little salty, man. I'm, I'm glad that my family was able to hit, but it hurts not to hit and be able to bring y'all an early review. Because, I mean, y'all know how it is in this space. But... Oh, oh yeah, you saw you saw um you saw familiars uh I'm like man I'm glad I didn't hit him because I hit on the one that I want. I hit on the pro. Oh ah. maybe that was my lesson. I not hit it on those industrial shoes. Well see, I didn't even hit on the Kobe's, man. I tried for the camos. I ain't even hit. I ain't even hit. She she didn't let me hit, man. She ain't let me hit. I'm 0 for 2, man. She she didn't even let me hit, man. She 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 was like, you ain't you ain't paid no bills this month. Um, I can't do nothing with the little change you're trying to throw at me. So yeah, nah, I ain't gonna give you what you want. <laughs> and I had to I had to be like, okay, I I understand it is what it is. But um yeah, those are those are my few grievances, man. Let me let me see what y'all have been talking about. I'm, I'm I apologize. I apologize. I just had to get out my my grievances. Um, yeah, yo said to murder BX, yo man, murder BX with the salute. Tyrone said he took an L on the Robinsons. Uh, yeah, yo said my homeboy name is Daniel. I say that to him all the time. <laughs> Oh yeah, the damn Daniel back at it again with the bands. Nasty. Um, Murder BX said, Homegrown Kicks, you always say that, bro. I always try to pull up even if it's ghost mode. Well, you know, I mean, like. That's why he always ghost right, right, right. That's why I thank the ghost watchers, because I never know who ghost watching. And murder, man, like you've been riding with me since. Just about day one, man. We've been riding together for a long time, and hey, look, man, we hey, it, it is what it is, man. When you when you want to see your homies, you want to see your homies. Sledge said, "HG, what's good, my boy? Life, life is good, man. I ain't, I ain't got no complaints that nobody want to hear about." <laughs> um, Special Teresa. What's going on, Special Teresa? Glad to see you here. I'm glad to see you, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad to see you again. And the family is glad to see each and every one of y'all, man. Everybody in the chat, everybody watching, just put in the chat, what's up? Just put what's up to the entire family and, and, and let everybody know that we all here. That we riding for each other, man. If y'all could do that, I greatly appreciate y'all, man. Um, Adam said, what up, everyone? Missed y'all the past few weeks. Life's crazy sometimes. Yeah, life, get, life gets a little crazy. Um, situations, man. What, what? Situations will arise. 
in lies, but you gotta be smart about it. Well, y'all didn't know y'all didn't know AG could break it down for y'all like that, man. <laughs> um Ryan McPherson said, Me too, HG. I wanted the Robinsons and totally lost track. Uh, let's just uh, let's just take a, a, a deep breath and a sigh for each other, man, in the in the family, man. And let's just move on to the next, man. That's all we can do. Move on to the next. It's always gonna be something that we want just as much, or if not more. Speaking of. I know a lot of y'all said y'all ain't with the Travis Scott trainers. And that's all cool, all fine and dandy. But your favorite family member, HG, love those trainers. And everybody that don't want them, if y'all could please put in for a size 10 for your boy. And uh, I would be humbly grateful. Got a different trainer coming out? Well, I mean, not that I know of. I mean, other than the ones that we saw, like the olive colorway, the uh the the like the tannish white olive colorway, and then supposedly um the one with the red Nike swoosh on it. But that's the end of this month. The the, the Travis Scott joint is supposed to come out at the end of this month. And you know, those those are the multi-purpose shoes, so that's why you know they train those. They 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 for everyday use. Marcus Crown Kicks said, what's up, family, man? What's up, Marcus, man? Glad to have you here, as always. No Hype said, on my way from work, but ghost watching, I hit on the Phillies. Yo. Hey. Yo, shout out to you. Rhyme. <laughs> They do. They do. Now, yeah, like like I told y'all, they look like, well, so y'all explain to me. Y'all got me right. The LeBrons look like those Phillies. But I didn't know of the Phillies first. I knew of the LeBrons first. And despite my dis, my disdain, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, that's one of the words you pull from the word calendar. Despite my disdain for those um those Kobe's or the look of those, not well, yeah, for the look of those Kobe's, um, they do, like you said, got a lot of details, and you gotta put some respect on their name, man. Cause they Kobe's. Um, Ryan McPherson said Ross has legit beef though. But I mean, okay, Ross does. I guess have legit beef, but I mean, what Drake told Ross wasn't wrong, man. Drake Drake made Ross popular again when he was on his way out. Um, man, I, see that that's what I hate, bro. That's the, that's what I hate from a Drake fan. Like, we, we got well, I'm a Ross fan. I was a Ross fan before I was a Drake fan because I got I got his first album, Push It to the Limit. Pushing not push. I used to listen to his mixtapes, man. So I'm a Ross fan before I'm a Drake fan. Uh, you ain't never had a first good record that I got on. But if you go back into the history, Rihanna was the reason Drake got his first good record. Number one hit record. Nah, 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 nah. That's not true. That's not true. Cause cause Drake, Drake. Uh uh, no, cause Drake was the Drake. No. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you because that's cap. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna tell you that's cap because Drake was big from he was big and already known from Degrassi. Now his father was also already known because his father was a big famous musician. Now wait, wait, let me wait, wait, let me tell you now. Now when Drake came out. With his unofficial EP, it wasn't even an EP. It wasn't even an album. You the best. That was on the Billboard 100. Uh, hey, but Average got him. His first two was by was what Rihanna. Rihanna. That was his first two number one. His first so, two. so that was Cap when he was talking going at Kendrick about the Moon Five and Taylor and, and all Taylor that. Swift. The thing, that, the thing with the Taylor Swift thing was corny. I was like, bro, you did an Apple Music commercial. 
Right. But see the thing, but see the thing about Drake was Drake was big already because he was the first one to sign to a label and not have to go through all that all all, all of that mess. Yeah, we're not we're not denying that. Right. And then see here's a and and here's the thing though, like when I said what I what I said was Drake put Rick Ross back on. Because Rick Ross hadn't done anything big before he was featuring Drake in a long time. It had been a minute. Now I ain't now, now like you like you tried to say, I didn't say Drake made Rick Ross uh, or made him number one. Because it had been almost, it had been almost half a decade. I know. I think music like that. So he probably could have just been Kendrick like Kendrick. He don't drop music like that. Well, that's different. Kendrick is different. Yeah. Right. Now, and and here's the thing. Facts. Everybody, right, right. That's that's facts. What's up, Goon Baby? But you know, Drake was hotter at that time than Rick Ross was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, and that because because like I said, no, 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 he was because let me tell you, Drake was on a roll. Drake had just I, 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 I could be wrong, but Drake had just come out of that beef with Meek Mill. Right, because the first one I remember that he did was Aston Martin Music, right? Because, like, I was geeked when I saw Aston Martin Music. Yeah. Right. Right. And when was the beef with Drake and Meek Mill? That was what, like 2012? Yeah, that not really too long ago. Yeah, when back to back came out and all that, yeah, that was that was that was fire for that. But they had they had uh Aston Martin Music Fest. Later that year they had Baby Fest. I don't remember that one. Rick Ross showed up at Rick Fest. Right. Like at this point though, Rick Ross was still big. Yeah, he had Maybach music, he signed Stanley, Wale, me. They had their collaborative albums, so they was dropping like Now I love Rick Ross wasn't no slouch. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. But he oh and, and that's what I'm saying. Like to to Drake Point, the dude he was getting old. Well, no way, bro. No, he was, he was, that's not he was from being a rapper to right. being a, a, a label head. Like, no, he was from being a rapper to being a label Right, because he, he he had to he had to move, he had to move like at that at that point, Rick Ross had to move on to other things because Rick No, I didn't. Did, no, I didn't. I didn't say he was. Did I? When? When did I say he was washed? I said it had been a. Right. 
No, nah, what I what I said, well, no, because no, so, so so what I what what I'm what I'm saying is, what what I'm saying is, it had been a minute since Rick Ross had really done something, whether it was to his choice or not, but Rick Ross had been falling out of favor with the younger crowd. Him collabing with Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Hey, but see, but see, that's why, but see, that's why I can't. That's why, that's why I can't, and, and that's that's all I'm saying. But and, and see, that's why I cannot relate to that because when I heard him rapping on Degrassi, I was like, this this kid got bars. And then I heard him drop his. Nah, have hey have y'all seen have y'all seen the episode where he rapped? And that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not a Canadian I I I watch. I like. I actually watched it. And I I'm, the reason I got into it was because like my sister had watched it, and I was just like everybody else. What is this crap? And I'm watching it. And I'm like, these dudes going through some stuff. And and I ain't gonna get into the whole point and premise of that. But like, the grassy was set for every new generation, and that particular. Degrassi spoke to my generation. So I heard him rapping. I'm like, this dude on TV can actually rap. And then I heard his first single, non-single. And I was like, okay, he doing something different. This is going to go somewhere. What, what, what rapper have you ever heard come out that wasn't met with a high level of criticism when they were doing something new and different? He was a rap artist that was considered a singer. Like, what was the what was the criticism that Drake got when he first came out? But that been done before, so that's not new. A lot of people will tell you what Drake was doing had not been done before. A lot of people like to erase history, bro. That rapper singing. But to the effect that he did it. Uh, yeah. Who? Nah, cause cause Bone Thugs and Harmony came out this straight. But they nah they 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 came out as straight rappers. So that's, see, that's what I'm saying. People like and then Bone. And then Bone Thugs and Harmony was a group. So you had like Oh yeah, Ja Rule did. He did he did something like that. I'll give you Ja Rule, but But see that 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 wasn't 50. 50 didn't start out like that. I'm talking about I'm talking about six. I'm talking about singular artists who who did what he did. No, when you when you got a group, you can when you have a group, you can have different design elements in that group. I 
nah, nah, not 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 by uh, uh, individuals self. Yeah, nah, I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't, can't give you that. Aubrey still be girl name to me. Hello, that person got body by a singing ninja. Yeah. Gonna wait a couple of weeks hoping the Jackies go down, but I'll get them. They are super clean. I have the Thunders, didn't need the Sulfur. But if I see them on sale, I'll definitely pick them up. Nah. Nah. I don't, I don't like that. The, um, the biz <laughs> yeah, but you know it's not really the midsole ain't really aged. It's more like a a creamish color. Sled said, "What's good, average?" Woo! Hey, hey, you, you. You were, you where I was last year, man. Got in the hats and it snowballed. Where you go, hit it. I know you did for 24. Yeah, so they had the sale was going on. It didn't say they ended in the 98 cents. Yeah. You got, if you buy one, you get a stack one half off. Phew. So, yeah, so every other day I was going in there buying two hats. I know you racking up them points, too. You look at your account. That, that too. And so I was just convinced. <laughs> I got to go through my hat collection. I did a video like two years ago because somebody was like, HG, you don't know nothing about no hats. And I did a video. I said, who said I don't know nothing about no hats? And I, I went through a few of them. And at that time, I had like 10 of them, 10, 15 of them laid out. Now, yeah, now it's crazy. Okay, see, G Space, y'all got to bear with me. I don't know nothing about none of that. The scissors. Yes, yes, the hat community is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so this is how, I, like, this is what I've learned. It's divided down the middle. Half of the people are like, take the sticker off because when it falls off, it's going to be a ring in the middle of your hat. Uh, and that's stupid. The other half is, is that age group that falls in between, like, the late 90s to mid 2000s where they be like nah we leave that sticker on that's that five shit leave the sticker on your hat uh and and it's cool i think nowadays it's kind of recycled back 
to the same way, like you like like fashion recycles. It just it's it's just circular. So now I think it's like the young kids, they don't want to, they want to get as far away from everybody born in the, the late 90s to early 2000s as possible. You know, because everybody in that age range are between like 30 something and 40. So they want to get away from that because they calling everybody in that bracket old as hell. So they'd be like, okay, they love the stickers. Let's take them damn stickers off the hat because I got the stickers on my hat. I don't see what it hurt. It don't hurt nobody. It's my hat. I paid my money for it. Hey, let me leave my sticker on my hat, man. Like I said, now, yeah. I'm all for the camp that if you leave your hat on, one, I know why. Two, like you said, it don't bother me. Like, same way when somebody wearing a pair of reimagined fours and they got the black uh, black hand tag on it. Bruh, that's their choice. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the bell rang. That means you was on point with something. We ain't been on point for a minute, man. We just been, we just been spitting nonsense, but hey. Kari finally brought us back to on point. Y'all heard the bell, man. Now, speaking of hats, this individual has like a good selection of hats. Um, is one of the reasons why I leaned more so heavy into the hats. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. <laughs> Let's welcome to the live. Let's welcome to the family. The one. The only. James <laughs> Meyer. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so I don't wear like John Sticker on my hat like Avis does, but I always keep the baseball cap on. Yeah, see, I keep both. I just ain't take the price tag off this one yet. I think but that's the only one stick one. I that take one. off. That one that's got the, yeah, that's the only one that I take off. off. You know, I'm not going to lie, of all the stickers that he has, the other jumps on one and the other two don't make it like not be a 50% tree. It's like hollow crap. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, somebody like, said that in the I was going to say, you know, there are some people that take the size and stick it on the bottom, but that's kind of crazy because then if the sun hit it, you're going to be blinded by a big gold sticker. Yeah, I feel like if you already take the sun off. Yeah, I take, I take, I take that size off. I take the hat off. Um, Yeah, I leave them all on there. I don't care one way or the other. I'd be like, it's my hat. I don't care. How y'all feel about the fitted or snapbacks? I like snapbacks more than I like fitteds. If it's, see, if I it's like a vintage hat. Like, if it's a vintage hat, it'll get me a snapback. Okay, so if it's a vintage hat, I'll rock both. I like both. I like both. But I wouldn't wear them both together. Like, I don't wear them both together. I like both, but I prefer snapbacks over fitteds. Because I feel like fitteds are more comfortable. I like both, but I prefer snapbacks over fitteds. And the simple reason why I prefer snapbacks over fitteds was like back in high school, I bought a fitted. And I was like, okay, I found my size. I figured it out. I went and bought another fitted. That fitted don't fit like the last fitted. And it be and it bought it will be bulged at the sides. And I'm like, yo, this is ugly. When it bulges at the sides and it buckles like that, that is ugly. That is trash so then i figured out fitteds because at that time like me in high school like fitteds were starting to just like come in and be the thing and at that time i really wasn't on fitteds but like i was like all right let me try it i gotta fit it it fit just right if it didn't i could adjust the strap in the back and i'm good now of course because i got my hair like this a fitted works a lot better but you know, sometimes snapbacks. Like, I mean, not, well, not, well, snapbacks. I should have said, like, because I got my hair, snapbacks work better for me because I can put my hair through the back of the snap, 
or I can adjust it to the size accordingly. But like fitteds do have a lot more fire options. I won't I I, I won't lie to you about that. Mm. I think so too. I'll be looking at hats. 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 Slay said, I saw several videos that the quality is dookie. I guess he's talking about the uh, the sulfur fours. Vlogging, what up, vlogging? Man, I'm sorry, man. Look, y'all, I'm sorry it took me so long, man. We we were talking about Drake and Rick Ross. <laughs> what up, vlogging? What up, MJ? Man. What up, Nitro? What up, D-Face? What up, Murder? The Car Kid Edits. Man, shout out to the Car Kid Edits coming from um, I believe what it is. Either Facebook. No. Oh, average. Who you streaming it? Um, oh, okay, okay. Shout out to uh the car kid edits straight from average. Yeah, your, your average sneaker guy. The average don't stand for average, man. I'm glad you're here. Um Glad for you to be a part of the live chat, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Charles Minna said, hit on the military blue shock drop. The white is off. They, they, that's, that's not the only thing they said is off about them joints. Boy, I can't wait to your video, James. I, got to, I, I know what's coming. True to size, he said, yeah, they ain't off-white. They like gray, but clean regardless. They look gray in your hand. Stephen Cooper said, what up, everybody, man? What up, Stephen Cooper, man? Glad to see you here, man. We appreciate you. The family appreciates you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're clean, though. They're clean. I took L's on everything. Uh, Jackie Robinson's Kobe's and Industrial Blues. <laughs> Austin Campbell Land Agent, man. Appreciate you for coming through. Man, appreciate you for coming through, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Burr Collins. HGK salute to you, Burr Collins, man. Austin Campbell, the, fam the family is glad to have you, man. They're glad to have you. Uh, Neil Kim is the only thing I've hit in this year so far is the year of the dragon one low. All other cops have been reset, and that's not a bad shoe to hit on. That was a that was a clean low, especially like for an early release. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, beginning of the year release, I should say. Drake did not make Ross. I agree with that. Where you get that from? Bird, where you get that from? I ain't. Are you trying to downplay that he fell off? Well, everybody was going in on you in the chat. No, I said Ross ain't. I, had, I said Ross hadn't done anything in a while. I know. Is that just like saying he fell off? Well, no, that's different. I guess I, guess I look at. I, I guess I look at things differently. Because if I was gonna say Ross fell off, I would have been like Ross fell off. I would I would have verbatimly said Ross fell off. No, no, no. Because like I said, I got the Rick Ross album. I got his first album. But we still can't forget Rick. Like I made in the comment on something. 
I was like, we still can't forget Rick Ross was exactly what he was talking about. Rick Ross was the police, man. I love Ross, but but Rick Ross was the police. Yeah. Right. And then it's funny, it's funny that Rick Ross was talking about somebody body, like, come on, man. What what is that? <laughs> I mean, but you know, hanging out with Wayne, you know, he had some, he had some affiliations. Hanging, being, being with Young Money. But, no, but you know, all right, I'll say this. Being with Young Money, he had some affiliations with like all that kind of stuff because Birdman is one of the biggest drug dealers. Mac Man. No, 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 no. Check this out. Because Mac Main, the dude that was in Bedrock, uh, that's that been waiting for 20 years to release his album. Birdman refused to let Mac Man release his album. Bird Mac Man, Mac Man said he went into Birdman's office and asked him for his money. He said Birdman gave him half of his money and then gave him a brick and told him to go get the other half. Right, everybody got drugs. Right, everybody got drugs. I ain't got no drugs. <laughs> hey, look, well, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put my, I ain't gonna put my business out there like that. But hey, I'm gonna tell you, no. But at the same time, Wayne wasn't either because Birdman made his mission to keep Wayne away from that. That's what I'm saying, G Face. What's the switch up on Drake, man? That ain't always true. That ain't always true. Because, like, to be, to be real, okay, I'm, I'm, and I'm a perfect example of that. That ain't always true. If I tell you some of the things, you would not even believe me. You would not believe. Average, hey, look, average, average. I do believe one for one. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> what did G Face say? Take the sticker off the top so you don't get Mitch Match colors on your bill. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was saying. It leave a little. This color ring on the top. Yeah, you take the sticker off and it's brand new, and then the rest of it's ashes. Yeah, yeah. Um, G Face said no curved brims, straight bills. Murder BX said curved or straight is a preference, a hundred percent.
I used to wear them. I used to always just get them and then just start going like this, and then like yeah. stop doing that, and then it just depends on the hat. Like this wouldn't look right without it. You know what I mean? It just depends. But see, when you bend it like that, look how it flexes your hat. Like it bows your hat outward. It depends. Like I said, it depends on the hat. Yeah. I remember I used to see like they, I started buying them. They used to make them out of wool. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Now they, and now they make them out of polyester. So bending those hats when they were made out of wool, which I still have a couple of them. They didn't flex like that. Full, full release one. Yeah, it's like those ones were good ones when you know people like they were um the, the curvy. Yeah. But, um not these new ones bro, like they all fit a little bit different. Right. I got a hat I got a hat stretcher. Like the sizes. I gotta get me one. Yeah, they got hat stretchers. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because, like I said, you might get you might get your size, and one of two things: it'll either be too big, or it won't be small enough. They even got like little hat inserts to make your if it comes out too big to make your hat fit your size tight the way you want it. Um. Now, like I remember. Cause I, I I I play I used to play baseball and stuff like that. I remember I used to see kids hold their hats like that and bend their brims, and it used to just it used to just make my flesh crawl. I'm like, why are you bending your? I'm like, it's a reason why it's made straight like that. And to me, it, it's made straight like that to block the most sun instead of being bent around your head like that. But. I love. I seen that red one. That's tough. Yeah. That was tough. So. So I stay away from. I stay away from like New York hats. I stay away from LA hats. Well, I feel like you gotta have a New York hat. I feel that, but you know, last time I told y'all why I stay away from them. I stay away from New York hats. I stay away from LA hats. And I stay away from um, Chicago hats. Houston got some good hats. Toronto, I love Toronto's hats more than like any hats I've seen. Um, of course, I got to go for the home city. Uh, and I guess if I had to, you know, put it at that, that would be like my top three. And I would give an honorable mention to... Um, uh who got the, the the purple hats um arizona or colorado it's either colorado or arizona one of them i think it's uh colorado something like that yeah they have some fire hats they got some fire hats and i will say the cubs when they when they went back to the old logo with the bear with like the little cartoonish bear, okay, I like those. Like I've been really debating on whether to buy one of those, and then and, and kind of you know you know break my golden rule. But yeah, Toronto got some fire hats. The Raptors, the Blue Jays, like oh yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Woo, that's a nice hat, a nice trucker, man. That's that's crazy. Nitro said, if you're looking for a steamer, Amazon has one. Only reason why I don't keep stickers, uh, work out and sweat a lot. Yeah, so a lot of people are using steamers to bend their brims. They're using a, bim, a, a brim bender, and then they're using a steamer to, like, get that shape. (laughs) 
Bird Collins, LOL. Jeezy, man, Jeezy, yeah, yeah. Last time I checked, how many fitted hats? 60 plus. They didn't have 60 plus snapbacks and strapback. That hats. Dang, Nitro. Nitro, you need to do a hat collection. I got one strap back. Yeah, but see that that's like the whole New York thing. And like But you know, but you know the whole thing with Georgia don't like New York. Georgia don't like we hate New York, and it's kind of it feels like it's almost ingrained in my DNA to just like. And on top of that, like I've run across folks from New York that have just like I've I've run across some good people from New York, but I've run across so many bad ones from New York, and it's 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 really hard, man. No, I can't do the Yankees. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't do the Yankees. You might be the only one I know that. I even had an Oakland Raiders cap. And, like, MJOG said, definitely snaps. <laughs> well, average you get in there, man. So you right. So, um, two weeks ago, I bought a kitty. I had to get a size seven five eight. Last last week, I went to go size up. Nine. You might need the three fourths. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what I am. I'm a seven and three fourths. Nah, you ain't gonna get to no eight. You ain't gonna get to no eight. <laughs> right. But see, I got I, I'm in a seven and three fours. And that's also what I like about snapbacks. It's got like the little sizing on the on the uh on the snap. So when I bought that snapback, I knew exactly what size I would need in a fitted. Like snap got everything you need, man. It, <laughs> Jeezy said Ross did kind of ride Drake coattails after the co stuff came out. <laughs> uh, uh, do y'all actually believe in these rappers? No. I think it was fake. I think it was just like okay, so between Rick Ross and Drake, I believe that's fake. I believe that's just for Right. Now, well, no, like right now. like with, with Future and Drake, I believe that joint is, joint is real, but Future but Future is not a a, a a a beef battle rapper. That's not who he is. So, I mean, but I believe that beef between them is real, but that's not who he is. Uh K Dot I kind of believe that beef between Drake and K Dot is real just because the type of dude K Dot is. Yeah, like. Right. Because the way he came, because the way he came at J. Cole after J. Cole apologized, I was laughing. He was like, see, I already got rid of one and I ain't even have to say nothing. Like, I'm just like, yo. Like. No, nah, that was real. Yeah, that was real. Yeah, nah. Yeah,
Man, Adam RX said, if you need to shrink your hat, you can put it over a boiling pot of water for about five minutes and then let it dry. If it's not small enough yet, repeat the process. A grease splatter screen helps. Dang, I didn't know that. <laughs> if you're adventurous, you can use a coffee maker. Right. Jeezy said, I'm a, I'm at 500 plus. Good God. The name, of the, song, the name of the song is called First Day Out Remix. Go, yo, go listen to that. He went on there, uh, it's the hardest Kanye verse I've ever heard in my entire life. And um, people are saying I'm a hater. MJ underscore OG said, Jeezy hit it on the head. Don't have full hat collection videos. Do have some videos about my hat pickups. Well, Nitro, we need that full hat collection video, brother. <laughs> Murder BX said, hey, now, leave New York alone. <laughs> yeah, I've met, I've met a lot of good, I've, I've met, a good number of people from well, I ain't gonna say a good number, but I've met a lot of uh, a few people from New York that are really cool, really down to earth, understand what it is. But like, unfortunately, I've met so many people that would like ruin your perception. I like like one time I opened the door for for a lady from New York, and she was like. She looked at me crazy, like she looked at me like I had lost my mind. No, in Georgia, we do that joint. No, what you mean? Atlanta is the city. It's a melting pot of different cultures. No, Atlanta is not country. You tripping. Well, that's because we're in the South. They look at everybody in the South. The only, like, they look at they look at New Orleans or Louisiana as country. They look at they almost they they almost and Texas barely escaped them looking at them as country. Um look at everybody from Texas like they're country. Right. But Atlanta is not country. Just be you know why people look at uh, Atlanta as the country is for whatever reason we've been given the stipulation as of the the center point for the south and that hey y'all and what you want what you going to do and like everybody is a dumbass and that's why a lot of people from other states come to Atlanta and they find themselves in other situations and they don't go back home because they think they come into somewhere where we stupid and they find out we ain't stupid Atlanta is not the country. Every state has a, like, that's what bothers me about people from different states. Every state has a country. And Florida, average, North Florida is y'all country. And then if you listen to people from the poking beans, a lot of people be like, what the world is you saying? Average, don't do that. You tripping, bro. Just because you don't claim it don't mean it ain't Florida. When you look on when you look on a map, it says Florida. No, when you look on a map, it says Florida, and there's a state line that divides Florida from Georgia, and that's what tells you what Georgia is and what Florida is, and that's where your country is. Right. <laughs> like I don't and, and then like like Arkansas 
is completely country. But Arkansas, I guess Arkansas, like some of those states like that, or Tennessee, I guess some of those states like that are completely irrelevant. So people just ignore those. But that's but that's what I'm saying. But like, nah, the city of Atlanta is not country. But anywho, like I was saying, I opened the door for a woman and she looked at me like I was crazy. And she was like, you must be from somewhere else. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she was like, well, I'm from New York and we don't like nobody opens the doors for nobody. I'm like, okay, so just because y'all are rude to each other up there, that, that that's weird to you? <laughs> Right, right, yeah. You average, think about it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, Kari, yeah, Kari got the bell. Tyrone turns to you and said, so I'm the only one that's digging their military force that has been shipped to them. This is giving me white cement three vibes. People said QC issues, but they sold out quick. Now, in our group chat, somebody posted, and that's what we, me and Kari were talking about earlier. Somebody posted in that group chat a picture of their military blue force. Now, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this plays into the hands of the rumors that were circulating around like 2020, 2022, around that time where they were saying that the early release pairs were were like junk pairs they were trying to get out early that they knew nobody else would buy or would send back and uh, end up B grades. I don't know if this is a case of that, but the image that one of our guys sent us, he had his military blue fours on. He works from home and he is he, he claimed that he had only been wearing them for five hours or less than five hours and they were beat. I'm talking about they were they were they were the cleanest beat shoes I have ever seen in my life. And that is an understatement. Right. And it was so bad. I asked. I was like. Right. But it, it, it made me wonder if if his shoes were actually real. And then I had I was like, do forests have holes in the toe box? Like, that's how bad they were. And I was like, yeah, no, nah, they don't have holes in the toe box. But like, they're terrible. They're ter terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, So I, I guess, I mean, Car, what you think? Like, you got yours. What you what you what you think, man? <laughs> you don't seem too happy, man. Yeah, the shape is phenomenal. It really does look like somebody took the green from the SB4 and made a blue. That's a dark blue. Nike, stop making this. Like, when you make the ones that y'all used to make, like, this is. Like, and you gotta take this off. Don't even come with the little chain. That kind of stuff. Yeah, but that's, but that's the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm messing with the video. No, bro, you yeah. got it. That one is the one that came on the original. That's why I'm I, I, I this for like at least a, a chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but you've got so many chains from other pairs, you can swap it out. Um, the leather, the leather quality, I am not in any way, shape, or form Rose Anvil, so I don't know if this is real cow. Shout out to Rose Anvil. <laughs> but it's, it's soft, it's supple. Um, 
nice way. Oh, this way got a little, you can't really see. Got a little, little bit of a brush back. Not nothing serious. They got widow sheets. See that widow sheet? Nice. We love that, man. It's plush on the inside. I want to say it's about the same plush toughness as the reimagined. So so far they keeping true to that SB plushness. Yeah, overall, like the quality of the shoe is solid. The thing that really is making me is the color. Like, yeah, I'm like it looks dark on camera. It's so I'm wearing a, a stark white T-shirt. It's not super far off, but like it's it's like a muted. Muted white, definitely off white, not cream off white, but like eggshell. Yeah. It's eggshell. Um, Shout out to that Tekken shirt too, man. If y'all don't know what Tekken is, man, go yeah. grow up. King, bro, one of the best characters. Um, about to, about to slip him on the foot real quick. Man, damn, you get an old foot too. Straight to the foot, gang. Let me uh, let me throw these things in here. Is that Adidas pants on top? No, it looked like it though. Okay, it's, right. it's the Grand Soul Archive. My homie Grand, shout out Archive for uh, supplying me. Mikey Shab said he got his in and he loves them. So shout out to Mikey, man. Shout out to you. Show us them feet, no diddy. Yep. That's what I said in that bread for video. I need to drop that. Okay, on feet. They feel good, don't they? Damn, they they feel good as shit. As heck, we need a real on feet review. Do a jump, Jeff. My angle ain't the best. I ain't trying to stand on my couch either. Nah, yeah, don't do that. The the angle the angle that I'm looking at on feet. All right, y'all done showed my own mind. Damn, that was quick. It's nice, huh? Yeah, it ain't nice. I'm gonna do my little bullet on feet. I'm gonna wear like five different pair of pants. Hey, so all the kids that wear the wide leg flares, man, these are the shoes that's gonna really go crazy with it. These, these pants are kind of wide legs. All right, so make sure if y'all was really rocking with the content, man, y'all leave a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell on the way out. And if you're part of the notification gang, shout out to the notification. Hey man, we got the first of this official review, and you make it to ten k with that. And I'm on it, man. We on the road with it too, right? We on the road to one k. So make sure before y'all leave out of here, y'all leave a comment. And if you make it to the end of the video, if you're rocking with the boys, leave the word industrial in the comment so I know that you stay to the end and that y'all rocking with what the boy doing here on the OG man. Family love y'all, man. We will God. We what up, Keegan McPeters, man? Glad to have you here, man. That shit was good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit. I was locked in. Shit, I don't even do all that. For real. Like, you fan, that was fine, though. Trap 41 Sosa said, was raised by my grandparents and thought respect. I get it, fam. That's all I'm saying, man. Showing respect for your fellow person. I like going shopping up there too. You ever been shopping in that mall fish? Well, James, you don't count. I forget what it's called. Where every. How does that song go? It's a place where you can go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> like. You triple flip your channel just the same. <laughs> so, like. I, I don't know. Like I, just, that, I, I don't. I don't run into some. I don't know. MJLG said, "Why are the military blues sitting at such a lovely price price right now? Though, got mine in from Goat for three oh three early. 
is nuts. No diddy. Charles Bennett said military fours are lackluster. Supposedly, we're supposed to be sneaker of the year contender. I ain't seeing it. Based off of everything that's coming out this year, what I say is the sneaker of the year contender. Uh, it depends how you feel about them. Me personally. <laughs> that man sniffed it. <laughs> are they fire? Yeah. They fire. I'm going to ask the same question I asked with James Lyons the other day. He's right here. Military black. Military black. <laughs> that was a tough question. Joe Rod Road Bush, man. He said, I just sub, man. Shout out to you, Joe, man. I appreciate you. I think I'm I think I'm looking at you like and Jay loves the military. Yeah, he loved the military blues. Sneakerhead eyes because it's an OG colorway. I'm gonna say blue. I'm gonna say blue. But you know they say that's not the OG colorway though. They say the blue is not right. They say the white ain't right. But you know what it is though. You yeah, know, you know what I'm saying. You right. like it's like saying the lost and found is not the OG one because it's not Chicago. Like, if it if it ain't well, that's different because you got the color blocking. But if it ain't right, it ain't right. It's the same color. It's the same color block. Yeah, it's the same. No, nah, they said the blue ain't the same as the OG pearl. Because that's like the what is it? A perfect example are like the the sixes. A lot of people was like, "Them sixes ain't right." But but either but either iteration, they say they ain't never been able to get it right. They yeah, have, bro, they never thought that 40 years later they were still making the same shoes. Yeah, they didn't have a PDF file that they could save into a hard drive and upload to the cloud to reference 30 years later. They but you, that blue. Michael Jordan did his thing. But you know, the community don't care about that. The community say, if it ain't right, it ain't it. The community can suck. <laughs> <laughs> Adam RX said, so which one of y'all YouTube extraordinaires are going to do the military blue versus pine green four video? I don't have a pine green four video, so I graciously bow out. True to size said, I right, I'm finna put my militaries on foot this Friday and see what's up. Hey, I love them, bro. Man, they ain't, they ain't nothing. I ain't nothing gonna smack them. You definitely gotta put them. You got definitely gotta put them on foot. Ain't nothing gonna smack them military blacks, bro. Uh Kyle was saying his uh you gotta put his military foot the military's on foot this Friday. Definitely do that. MJ OG said the pine greens and it ain't even close. The gun bottom did it for me. Charles Mena said, yeah, the white is throwing me off. Look, overall, it's a good shoe. They they, they look good on feet. I'll tell you what, a uh, quick story. My so my pair came today. My girl's GS pair that I had for her came today. And I had them both on the coffee table. And I was like, I'm going to take both of these up there. I'm going to do like a GS compare to the thing. Like, just for a quick second in my right. video. Melinda comes home. Rips the box open, starts throwing them on feet immediately. He's <laughs> like, oh, these are comfortable. And I'm like, you messed my video up. But, <laughs> but yeah, she she likes them. She said that they're really comfortable and she just has a feel for it. So, yeah, I, I will say this. A lot of people kept praising the no Pine Green Force by saying, they finally make it force comfortable. They finally make it force comfortable because I had the CDP. I had the, what, 2008? June of 2019, red four, black and red four, whatever. My favorite Jordan model besides that Chicago, those are the top two. 
Right. And I would wear those things in the summer. Pinky toe, probably bleed when I'm done. <laughs> I was fresh and I was happy. But between the reimagine and these, I kind of forgot I was wearing fours for a second. Dang. Like fours don't, these don't feel like fours. Yeah. They feel like SC Dunks. Like old school SC Dunks. Like Black Box era. Like Really? This is some next, like literally me thinking about it now, I'm going like, dang, I was just wearing fours. My feet was just like bunch of Yeah, those dunks, reimagine. That's how I felt whenever I put those on for the first I time. I didn't even remove, these are still factory laces. I literally just undid the top two laces and slid my foot in there. Dang. Wearing, wearing Jordan 4's factory legs, you either got the wrong size or you got like neuropathy and you can't feel your feet. So to say that I could just slip these on, yeah, these, I don't know what they did to the shape. It looked magic. Well, you know, they put the, they put the upper half, like the upper half of the shoe, the top half where you put your foot in is higher because of the way they sloped it. So that, that is higher and then the padding in the back, it pushes your foot forward. Like your your pushes more of your leg forward away from the heel tab. Uh so your so the heel tab is not like scratching up against the back of your leg. So I mean, like, because of the shape, it kind of gives you like a natural forward lean. So that like when you're walking forward, you're getting a lot of return, and then it also helps with the cushioning. So But I kind of find it like super corny when people like do the distressing in the Asian. But it'd be cool to see what these look like if one of those like chef duel dudes like Asian teams. I feel like now that they changed the shape, they could bring almost everything back. Like, let me get some fire. Redo reds. everything. Yeah, let me get some fire reds with that shape. Let me get some whatever. Bring those. <clears throat> uh, bring those back. So. Oh, the uh, the sport. Yeah. So, like, we have, and it, it, man, it's always good to just like sidebar and stuff like that. But um, it's getting close to the to the time to roll out. And before we roll out, I want to get into some of the things that have popped up as of late when it comes to the sneaker culture and who we go to is the go-to guy z sneakerhead so shout out to z sneakerhead for all of the information and uh releases that you know he makes privy to us now, of course, we know about the military blues. They were pushed back, then they were pushed forward, then they were pushed back, and now they're pushed forward. So they've got a May 4th release. Um, we've got a May 11th release of the Chicago Lows. We've got a May 18th release of the... Uh, yeah, what did I say? Chicago. Oh, yeah, my bad. Shadow low, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shadow lows. Changes everything. Right. <laughs> then we got a May 18th release of the um Space Jam 11 lows. And then the one that nobody really cares about, the uh the red taxis, the red taxi 12s, May 25th. Kind of cool though. They are right. They are right. <laughs> Um it, 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 Yeah, that that's that's as big homie would say. That's that box to even out the stack. You know what I'm saying? He said they're a full go, remember? Interesting. Um, then July 13th, um, we have the, uh, what is that? The oxidized green fours. And that's one that Charles asked about. Um Right, right. So, Charles, they're no longer releasing in June. They got pushed back to July. Um, 
in my opinion, it's not a bad shoe. I saw those on um, what was that? What what do they call that little thing? That little thing they talk on the sneakers app. Sneakers, oh, sneakers live. Yeah. <laughs> I saw them on the sneakers live and it was just like, okay, they're not bad, but um, it's not nothing that I'm, I'm, I really want to, I would really jump on. Um, maybe, maybe my thoughts will change because I mean, this is, this has been kind of a, right. Darius Lindsay, man, what's going on, man? Glad to have you here. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, we're going to get to that. Um, right now, we get into, like, all the pushbacks and things like that. Um, then you have, what is it? Uh, I don't even know the name of these. Uh, Those are the Barons. Baron OG Bros. Okay, the Barons. Um, July 20th. You got the uh, Olympic Sixes, August 3rd, and then you got the Chutney Ones. I thought they were black gold. How many Ochers are they dropping this year? I don't know, but it's unnecessary. <laughs> the yellow toe? Are that wow. supposed to be yellow? Um, yeah, I think it is. Let me see. No one's going to buy it next. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're called the gold medal ones. Like, yeah, that's just one. Um, then you have, uh, yeah, they, these are fire. Um, the Howard, the Howard Bison one lows. Uh, these remind me of those dunks that people were calling the Chicago dunks. But yeah, those are clean. Those those are clean. Uh, the Howard One Low Dunks are oh not Dunks, but the Howard One Low Jordans are set to release October second. Well, no, they were supposed to release on October second. I'm sorry, and they've been pushed back to November sixteenth. Um, then you have the Olive Nines, uh, that were supposed to release. Let's see, um. November 16th. And let's see. What were those fives? I don't even remember if I liked those fives. Yeah, and I'm good on those. Oh no, they called they're called white and black fives. They're December seventh. That's a very thought provoking name. <laughs> and then you have the blueberry twelves that have been pushed back to December eighteenth. So the not so French blue girls. Right. Why? I don't know. Um now one of the ones that I was looking for. Black Cat Fives. They've taken them off the calendar, and they don't know when they're gonna put them up there. So yeah, and then <laughs> what? That's one you can do, man. Mario said, "What's up to everyone, man? What's up, Mario, man?" Um. Then they have the olive ones that they took off the calendar, and I was looking at like a few groups and a lot of people were saying good. Like a lot of people were saying they were tired of these and they were tired of ones and that they don't, they don't care. They don't care nothing about that. It is what it is, I guess. Um, the fire red sixes, they took off the calendar and then, uh, the doodle threes. What do I'm saying? No, nah, they ain't. <laughs> They're not called the doodle threes, but I think they called the they, brown cement threes. That's the best they could come up with. Brown cement. Oh my gosh. Yeah, both of those shoes can go back to the drawing board. <laughs> uh, then you got the Chutney 13s. I, I'm a 13s guy. I love the Chutneys. Um, 
is it a must cop? I ain't finna sit here and cap to y'all and tell y'all it's a must cop, but um, yeah. But then they have the you know that's no longer on the calendar. That's a to be determined. And then the Mocha one eighty five lows is also uh, a to be determined. And I mean. I don't have to have those either, man. Um, it, it it's gonna be a struggle, man. It's gonna be a struggle for <laughs> looks like for the for the entire year. Um, I don't know. Like, is this the worst that like the Jordan calendar has ever been? Well, that's not really a calendar. That's just like a new format. I wouldn't say it's the worst because keep in mind. The years of like 2008 to 2015 exist. So it's definitely been some some pretty rough years. Right. But like, um, well, I don't remember, I don't even remember those years because I wasn't really doing nothing with shoes then. The thing about about these though, bro, with me personally, they're not bad. But they're not they're not a, a colorway that make me go, oh my god, yuck. And they're not anything that go fire. They're they're very much triggering this new sensation of I will. The, this is the this is the generation of our will to go like like James said earlier. You saw your sneaker collection. This in 15, 20 years when they do virtual again, gonna be somebody. Like, oh, I remember that must cop. Okay. So it's like that. It's like that full circle thing that we were talking about. If any teenage individual was walking around my local mall wearing any of those releases, that's cool. If the kid who go to the Nike outlet during the back to school or holiday time, beg their parents for some Jordans, and they're like, "Oh man, both of these Jordans, eighty dollars a piece." Cool. Not anything that's gonna get you high praise from your peers, but you're definitely not gonna get made fun of in the media. Right. 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 All right, so um, the Black Cat 3s are supposed to be returning in 2025. Um, Now, I wasn't a huge, like, was it rumors that they were supposed to drop this year? Yes, it's supposed to. Right, right. and they got pushed back. Um, I wasn't super excited about the, the patent leather on the side. And I mean, being pushed back to 2025, like it, it just. It's a must call. I'm like, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Especially after seeing the black cat fives, yeah, drop a little lower in my black cat three. <laughs> black cat threes are a classic. Yeah, it's, it's, they, it's, they're, they're old. I will say that. But... <laughs> <laughs> they meet that criteria. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's gonna be my favorite. Right. <laughs> Looking forward to not getting it. What? Yeah. 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 It's a, it's well, you know, you can always get the big version. No. No, average. No. No. I love, I love the fact that we were getting bombarded with rumors. Going like, are they really able to be pushed out? Even some of the 85 cuts. And the year they decide, hey, we're going to cut back production. And we're going to make shoes more covered. Oh, they they strategically did that, but but this is definitely like a may be doing that because as I mean, as you can see with the Black Cat threes, they were rumored to release this year. Now they're rumored to release next year. They might not even release next year. They're gonna release. I mean, but it's it's more of a win and not a matter of if. Right. J Max said the military fours are nice, but the Rio threes are his sneaker of the year. Oh, the yeah, the Balvin. They, they do. Um, they look like appetite for this 
stuff that has to be done, I cannot do it now. I wouldn't do anything with those people. Same thing with his wife. They not bad at all. Probably his best his best collaborator. Both of them. Yeah. A list and B. But uh they're also in a world where white cemetery just came out, black cemetery are also about to come out, I'm not gonna lose that. I'm just gonna keep it positive and go with it. I already missed the meta east, so I'm cool with missing it. Yeah. Like, I feel like when it comes to the Rios, it's not much you can mess up when it comes to a black shoe. And he took a black shoe and like what Average says, he does not like an all black shoe for the most part. He took a black shoe and threw some color on it. Like, so it's easily better than what he's done. When he tried to be creative, it didn't work. The ones, those, those were quite highly successful, especially in Mr. White. Because it was his, it was it was his first release, and yeah, hey, there we go. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> it was his first release. And at the time, the one hype was crazy. Not only was the one hype crazy, but people were starving for something different with the ones. And that's what it gave them. But in hindsight, I know a lot of people who paid high resale for those J Balvin ones are kicking themselves in the butt. They like, nah, these ain't it, bro. <laughs> these is not it. Then you have the twos. Yeah. You have the twos. The twos are terrible just as well. Then you got the uh the threes. Whatever the name of those threes were. They ain't bad, but they ain't good. They ain't great. I will say that. They, right. Okay, I would say not great, but ain't good. I mean, they all right. I give my eye because it's a it's a cream shoe with with a rainbow pattern on the heel. That's like saying the off white ones are cream too. Mine is a rainbow pattern. Hey, that's what that's how I feel about them. I don't I don't I don't, I don't like. I ain't gonna say I don't like the off white fours, but like yeah, that's a big statement. Yeah. But like in a long list of off whites, where do the four stack up? Are they in the five? No. Okay, see that's all I'm saying. Because in a world where off off white Chicago ones, off white fives, majority of the ten. Right. Presto. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're easily drowned out. But they're not bad. Exactly. I will say this. A part of the appeal of the off-white stores definitely comes from the fact that they're off-white because there's been a lot of neutral color stores that have come out that people didn't even bat an eye at. Right. So a lot of the allure comes from the fact that they are off-white branded. And before anybody be like, well, you can say that about this one and this five. You can't. Because alternate versions of those shoes exist. A regular Chicago, a regular black metallic, and they still fire and still sell. <laughs> when they release when they released Cream Fours, I forgot what that colorway was. We was talking about it on the show one time and you was like, bro, you like off white, you don't like them. I forgot. But like those damn near probably more people remember. Oh, I I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not in the top ten. I'll say that. Oh, yeah, that, that that's, that's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Next week, we're going to do a top ten off-white shoes to us. We'll see. Mm. I'm going to hold myself to that because I'm going to forget by the time tonight is over. But, 
I would. I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm 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 keep that. that, that, that fact, that, okay, that can go if hard. we do it, if we if we down to do it, we should make that a thing. Whether Friday oh, right, or Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll do that, and then like y'all send me. That that be the good series because after that we can do all this traffic. Yeah. Y'all 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 send me like y'all send me images of y'all um. Each one go up against each other, like the one of the of the off white out of all the off white gotta go up one of the trans out of all the trans. Yeah. Y'all send me a y'all send me a lit y'all send me like. Images of like your top ten. Hold on. We're gonna talk about this offline. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. But um so yeah, th- yeah, th- th- this is what is supposed to release in 2025, probably the biggest announced release of 2025, the 85 cut Air Jordan One bread. <clears throat> And we'll leave it at that for the night, man, because um Oh Okay. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. No wonder so much fire coming out next year. Yeah, we 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 done pushed into the ten o'clock time. You know, everybody got their lives. Um but I want to say I want to thank everybody for coming through. I want to thank everybody for coming through behind the scenes. Um, I got kicks. Let me man, let me let me shout all y'all out. Murder BX, Nitro, G Face, uh, Jake Albi, um, No Hype 85, Goon Baby, uh, I got kicks 2.0, Mikey Shabs. Uh, Joe Joe Roadbush. He also subscribed. Shout out to you, Joe and Mario. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Now, Neil Kinman on these side of things. Neil Kinman, shout out to you. You're the first in the chat to uh say something to the family. Shout out to you, True to Size, aka Tyrone Turner Senior. Yayo Sosa. Murder BX again, pulling double duty, man. Salute to you. Sledge X, special Teresa. Adams, Adam, not Adams. <laughs> Adam, Ryan McPherson, Marcus Crown Kick Stevens, Nitro, pulling double duty as well, man. Salute to you. Um, Let's see who else, who else, who else. Vlogging with Demetrius, man. Shout out to you, brother, man. Glad to see you. Um, the car kid edits from the Facebook side of things, man. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for joining the family. Charles Minima, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. Glad to have you here as always. Stephen Cooper, um, Austin Campbell, land agent, also from the Facebook side of things, man. Salute to you as well. Burr Collins, man. Glad to see you as always. Um, Let's see who else, who else? I can't forget. Nubian King 410, man, salute to you as well, man. Glad to see you here, man. The family is glad to see you here as well. Jeezy Christ, a.k.a. Thriller, the hat god, man. Shout out to you. Thank you for coming through. I know you couldn't be on the uh, live tonight, but I appreciate you for showing up and showing support. MJ underscore OG, man, keeping it OG. Thank you for coming through. Um... Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? D Sneaks, man. Shout out to D Sneaks, man. Glad to have you here. Adam underscore RX, man. Glad to have you. Um, Keegan McPeters, Trap 41 Sosa, man. Good to see you as always. Uh, did I say Adam RX? I think I did. But shout out to you again. J Mac, uh, shout out to you as well. No Hype 85. I believe No Hype was pulling double duty as well, man. Shout out to you, Darius Lindsay, man. Thank you for joining the family. Uh, shout out to you as well. And uh, I think that's it for the chat, man. Shout out to the Ghost Watchers always. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are keeping it strong just like everybody else. 
And uh, you are no less important in my family. So I appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody on the panel. The, the, the last is first and the first is last. So I want to give a shout out to James Myers. Thank you for coming through on the panel. Y'all already know who he is. No need for any introduction. But he is always welcome per usual. Um, always dropping content. He don't even need to say it. Y'all already know he got content dropping today, tomorrow, day after that, day after that. He got content, people. He got content. He work. He working hard. Next up, I want to give a thank you to your average sneaker guy, man. I appreciate you for coming through. Always with a difference of opinion, but never a bad opinion, man. Keeping things interesting as usual man i really appreciate you for coming through thank you thank you thank you and the guy with all the inside knowledge uh i appreciate you for dropping your first sneaker review here on the soul connection live man it was top notch man nobody can say anything bad about that sneaker review. And if you do, man, come get these, man. Come get these. I got something for you, man. Uh, shout out to Kari of the has have had underscore shop. And per usual, I give everybody their opportunity to give their own outro. So we're going to start with you, James. Go ahead and give your outro. Let the people know. Make sure you guys, if you're ghost watching, still up the homegrown kick. He's definitely trying to get the 1K. <laughs> definitely not that far away. Uh, make sure you guys tune in to us on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel for our live stream. I got a sneaker review dropping tomorrow for the uh, Industrial Reviewers that you definitely want, definitely want to check out. And um, other than that, man, just thank you for supporting my friends. I appreciate everybody here for showing up. All right, all right. The man with his head down getting into the hat game. I know you get nervous, but, hey, it's your time to shine, man. Don't be nervous. You did a great job last time. Hey, sure. let's roll it out. <laughs> well, uh, I was going to do a live unboxing, but the UPS man looked like they opened my box. <laughs> that ruined it and everything, but I might make a video of these clothes. Do it, brother. I like them, and I don't like them, I do not like the change that they made, and I got a problem with Hey, do it and talk about the change, man. Who the hell is? I want to know. Yeah. yeah. Nah, don't tell us. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't tell us. Do the video because we need one of those classic average nigga guy videos, man. Maybe maybe the box drop in from another universe. And that's it. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. And it's Kyrie. All right, all right. Hey, he did it on his own, man. He slid it to the next man, man. That's that's a that's a good man. That's a good man right there, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. Come on. Let's give it to him. No diddy, man. What's, what's up, gang? Um, thank y'all for being a part of the first ever party of the week. Uh, live. Um, seriously, though, my grown James, this thing that y'all got going on is very special. Not only for the people watching, but definitely for me. It gives us an opportunity to digest this stuff that we consume on a regular basis and have a little fun, build connections. Um, Appreciate it. Thank you for everybody that tuned in, man. Um, even if I don't directly engage with you in the chat, I read it. I'm very, very, very appreciative for you supporting my friends and y'all getting an opportunity to be a part of this because it's not just the people that you see on screen, it's the people in the chat, it's the people who ghost watch, it's the people who like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff, man. You, you work very hard to do this content for us. So, yeah, it's great to show that appreciation. Above all else, man, keep carving, keep passing, take care of yourselves, your family, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, hey, you can't go wrong with that, man. You can't go wrong you, with that.
Now, hey, baby mamas, and shout out to all the baby mamas that know they uh, baby daddies by their street name. Only. No, 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 you got to do this. You got to do this. Got to do the good Shout out, mom. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, mom. Love you, mama, without no baby. <laughs> so, man, it's, uh, I, I appreciate y'all for coming through. Um, it really means a lot because um, we all have things going on and we don't share all of the, the crazy things that we have going on, but it is definitely a lot. It is difficult uh, to say the least, but you all, you know, bring the excitement and bring the passion that keep us going and keep us doing these things. And <clears throat> me, I can't say how much, uh, I am appreciative of, you know, everybody on the panel and just like the people that come through and say things and people, to, even people that ghost watch, man, y'all are just as important as anybody else in my eyes. Um, I went from, Nobody watching to, you know, people hating me, to, you know, to, you know, people rocking with me. And I, I, I'm thankful for each and every one of y'all and, and I appreciate y'all. Um, and with that said, before we uh, kick this thing off and we get up out of here, I cannot leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything y'all believe in. Don't let anything stand in y'all way and dream hungry. Until next time, we'll catch you all later. Peace. Love y'all, man. Be good. Be safe. Keep collecting them sneakers, as Kari said. And, man, we'll see y'all later. Mama! Yeah. What I don't like about it, man, they changed. They went away from the Luna lines to put React in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, instead of the Luna line.